Hello, welcome to Politically Challenged. Hugh here. Here's a brief follow-up to our last episode, Life, Death and Abortion. We felt that this short piece was needed to further explain the importance of the referendum in Ireland that occurred last month, since we covered, mo covered multiple topics in such a short time, but we felt that this particular one needed a bit more depth. So here's my angle. Does male patriarchy exist in Western society? And if it does, how, do, how would it affect women's rights in relation to abortion? Now, some might argue that women in Ireland would have had no choice but to accept that what they could do with their bodies was not entirely their choice. But also the choice of men and the women running the country. This, of course, changed when the constitutional ban on abortion um, was lifted in Ireland on the 25th of May, 2018. Now, of course, this constitutional ban, um, there, were, there, was, there would be an exception, um, and that would be if the uh, pregnant woman's life was in danger because of the pregnancy, if there were complications um, that would uh, damage the woman's health, then they could have the abortion. But apart from that, it would be a complete constitutional ban on abortion altogether. Now, this ban was decades long, and it is there is a pending 36th Amendment of the Constitution Bill, um, and that's been enacted this year. And that will lead to the repealing of the 8th Amendment, which um, caused this ban on abortion. Interestingly, even before the 8th Amendment, which gave the unborn child equal rights to the pregnant mother, abortion had been illegal in Ireland since the year 1861. What some might argue that that was a time when male influence as opposed to female influence in politics was more distinct, but we can't say for sure. Of course, religious influence on law, particularly Catholicism and Christianity, that would have been more prevalent. Now, some left-leaning individuals and even some liberals might argue that this is a consequence of some sort of male patriarchy. Imagine me using that with quotation terms. Because from the left-leaning or liberal perspective, a woman would have the right to sustain or terminate the pregnancy since it is her body and she, only her can decide, well, only she can decide what to do with it. It's her body and no one else's. However, pro-life conservatives would believe that the unborn child's life is just as important, and religious conservatives would perceive abortion to be equal to murder within the context of an unborn fetus being considered a, a, a human being. Thank you very much for listening to this follow-up episode. I hope that clarifies the um, issue a little bit more. I personally believe that, well, as a so-called liberal, although I wouldn't like to use that term, I personally believe that if a woman chooses to keep the baby or terminate the pregnancy, that's entirely her decision. Of course, maybe the father of the child might have a little bit of a say, or an equal say, it depends on your perspective. But in terms of what to do with the actual body and the actual baby, ultimately it would be the woman's decision, but that's just my perspective. If you disagree with me, please uh, comment below with your own thoughts and opinions. Anyway, thank you, and until next time, goodbye.